Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to put together what I think will be a very good budget gaming PC. And I'm going to try not to spend, well, maybe around $200, maybe a little less, maybe a little over, we'll see. Um, so this is a PC I picked up from Facebook Marketplace. The seller had an ad up for this PC with a monitor for $250. I wasn't interested in the monitor, so I offered him $120 and he agreed. What we have here is a Dell Vostro, the cousin of the Dell Optiplex, basically. So this is a home office PC. It's got an i7-8700, which has six cores and 12 threads, uh, which is great because this means this can support Windows 11, which is awesome. Also, this came with eight gigs of RAM and a one terabyte uh, mechanical hard drive. So overall, not too bad. And after I do some upgrades on this PC, it should be able to run eSport titles without any issues and even some more demanding games. So let's take a look inside here. Uh, I've actually never had one of these Dell Vostros before. You know, usually I work on the Optiplexes. So these only have two slots for the RAM. Uh, it only came with one 8 gig stick here, uh, but I am going to be upgrading that anyway. So I'm going to double that to 16 gigs of RAM. For the power supply, it has a 290 watt power supply. Uh, there is plenty of room here for a GPU as well, which is nice. And we also have a spot here for an NVMe drive, which is great. So now let's talk about the upgrades. Uh, this came with eight gigs of RAM, gonna need more than that for gaming. So I hopped on eBay and got another eight gigs for $13. And for the hard drive, I don't wanna use the mechanical hard drive that it came with. I mean, I can keep it there for storage, but I don't wanna use that as my main drive. So I would recommend getting a 500 gig NVMe drive. I happen to have this NVMe drive already uh, with Windows 10 already on it. I just had this lying around from another build. So I'm gonna use this since I already have it. And finally, for the GPU, I got a GTX 1050 Ti that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. Uh, I am limited on my GPU selection by the power supply on this PC. I don't really wanna change the power supply. Uh, at least not right now. So the 1050 Ti has four gigs of VRAM and you know, it should get the job done. It's still a solid GPU. And I think I could put in RTX 3050 in here that has six gigs of VRAM, but that would bring the overall price of the PC way up. But maybe I'll try that card in a future video. Okay, so now I got everything installed. So let's review real quick what we have in here. So I got the Dell Vostro i7-8700 in it, got it for $120. The extra eight gigs of RAM, $13. Uh, I put in a two terabyte NVMe drive just cause I had it, but you can pick up one with 500 gigs for uh, 36 bucks. The GTX 1050 Ti I got from Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. So for a total of $219, I think I'm going to have a pretty decent PC here. So let's see how it does. But first, I want to mention today's video is sponsored by Flexispot and their E7 Pro Premium Standing Desk. Flexispot were kind enough to send me the E7 Pro Desk. It came with easy to follow instructions. If I'm able to put this together, trust me, anyone could put this together. So if you're looking to boost your productivity and comfort, this desk is going to be your new best friend. The E7 Pro isn't just any desk. It's adjustable and lets you switch seamlessly between sitting and standing. With its easy to use electric height adjustment, you can go from sitting to standing in just seconds. You can now tailor your workspace or gaming setup to fit your exact needs. Studies show that standing while you Work can boost your energy levels and reduce back pain. The Flexispot E7 Pro's sturdy build and smooth transition means you can get all the benefits without any hassle. It's also customizable. The E7 Pro comes with programmable height presets, 
So you can now save your favorite positions and switch between them with just a tap. This is perfect for sharing with family or colleagues. Let's not forget the build quality. The E7 Pro is built to last. This thing is sturdy. Here's my son sitting and then laying on the desk. The E7 isn't budging at all. And as you can see, my son loves playing Fortnite while standing. He says it helps him focus on the game. So are you ready to upgrade your workspace and take your comfort and productivity to the next level? Check out the FlexiSpot E7 Pro or any one of their other desks and experience the difference for yourself. Check out the link in the description below to learn more and get yours today. Okay guys, so I got the Del Vostro all booted up, ready to go. Everything looks good. So uh, right now I'm going to do what I usually do. I'm going to uh, run the Heaven benchmark to see what score I get. And then I'm going to try out some games and, you know, see how this performs. All right, when the Heaven benchmark was completed, uh, not too bad. Got an FPS of 71. Uh, the score was 1788. And this is on high settings. Okay, here is the benchmark test for Forza Horizon 5. Low settings, 1080p. Let's see how it does. So at the end of the benchmark, we've got an FPS of 61. And even on low settings, Forza Horizon 5 still looks pretty good. So 61, I'm pretty happy with. And here's the benchmark test for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. This is 1080p on the low settings. So I was hoping we could average 60 FPS here, but we couldn't quite do it. We got 49. Uh, I could, there is one preset that is even lower than low called lowest, uh, which might get me a few more frames per second, uh, but I don't know if it's really worth it. Uh, but it still looked pretty decent and I think it's playable. And next up we have Doom Eternal. This is on 1080p, low settings. And getting over 60 FPS here, which I'm pretty happy about. The GTX 1050 Ti usage is, you know, getting up there at 99%. It's working its hardest to uh, stay over 60 FPS, but I think this looks good. Here's Spider-Man Remastered on low settings, uh, 1080p. So I am getting over 60 FPS most of the time here, which is great. Uh, the 1050 Ti usage, again, you know, it's pretty high in the 90s there. What's great so far with all these games, um, the CPU and GPU temps are pretty reasonable, which is great. Um, this looks okay. I think I see some screen tearing here and there. So I don't know if I tweak the settings, I can uh, kind of get rid of that. But yeah, to get over 60 FPS, not too bad.
And here's Halo Infinite. This is just in the uh, training academy session. Um, looks pretty decent, although I'm not getting 60 FPS here. We are mostly in the uh, mid 40s. Shooting Spartan. And here's GTA 5. Uh, normal settings, 1080p, and we're getting in the high 90s to sometimes 100 FPS, sometimes a little over 100 FPS. And here's Fortnite in performance mode, and wow, getting well over 200 FPS here. Okay guys, just to wrap this up, so overall I think I got a great gaming PC here for only about $220. Uh, these Dell Vostros are definitely a decent budget gaming PC option. If you have a Vostro, let me know in the comments below. Also give me some uh, GPU upgrade ideas as well. So that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank Flexispot again for sponsoring this video. Check them out in the link below please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.